My name is Valerie Cummins. I'm the director of IMERC, which is the Irish Maritime and Energy Resource Cluster. IMERC is a partnership between University College Cork, Cork Institute of Technology and the Irish Naval Service. And today we're in the National Maritime College of Ireland, which is a constituent college of CIT delivered in partnership with the Naval Service. And you can see the wonderful pool behind me here with the, the waves uh, being generated to create uh, an environment for training for sea survival and safety. And this is a wonderful national asset in terms of our marine infrastructure. Um, what we are doing within IMERC is we're looking to expand this campus here in Ringeskiddy in Lower Cork Harbour. And part of the plans include the development of UCC's new Beaufort Laboratory, which will in fact become the world's largest marine renewable energy research centre located here in Ringeskiddy, adjacent to the Maritime College. And that development has been funded by PRTLI 5, which is a, pro a programme of the Higher Education Authority, and by the Department of Communications, Energy and Natural Resources, by Board Gas, and through private donation funding from the Glucksman Foundation. So we're very excited about how we're going to develop this new campus in Ringeskiddy with the Maritime College and the Beaufort Laboratory as key pieces of infrastructure that will be used then as a magnet for attracting in commercial companies as well as foreign direct investment. I'm really privileged to um, have received um, an Eisenhower Fellowship and the Eisenhower Fellowship is a program that brings together um, early leaders at mid-stage uh, within their careers from around the world and um, gives them exposure to a customised itinerary within the United States of America in their area of interest. So um, as Ireland's Eisenhower Fellow for 2012, I will spend seven weeks in the States from the end of March where I will get uh, access to thought leaders in my areas of interest. So I will look specifically at how the marine renewable energy sector is developing in the States because that has huge potential for Ireland. In fact, we could create up to 52,000 jobs through ocean energy here by 2030. Um, as well as looking at marine renewable energy, I will look at how science and enterprise um, leverage from each other by way of clusters within the US. And I will also look very much at the whole area of coastal zone management. That's an area I've been deeply interested in for many years because I firmly believe that we need to observe the lessons from coastal zone management when we're thinking about how we develop uh, the potential of the maritime resource offshore. We have seven and a half thousand kilometres of coastline and in fact we have in Ireland the largest maritime area to land mass in all of Europe. So we have a massive marine resource but unfortunately traditionally we haven't been very opportunistic in exploiting the potential of that resource. We have taken a very traditionalist approach to the fisheries sector um, but there are so many new and emerging areas such as offshore aquaculture ocean energy, marine biotechnology that could yield um, massive returns for this country. So we have an opportunity now to take advantage of what I term as uh, an awakening with respect to Maritime Ireland and that is I suppose represented in the way that this government is currently um, involved in a process of consultation with stakeholders on a new integrated marine plan for Ireland which I think is fantastic pro uh, progress in the whole area but I would like that that plan be a substantial plan um, that is, I suppose, built around a new way of doing business in terms of organisational structures within and across government, but also with, with the ki kinds of connections that are made to academia and to the business and the NGO sectors as well. So I feel that we have a unique opportunity to take advantage of the political momentum that's gaining traction with respect to Maritime Ireland. We have an opportunity to influence that, but hopefully through you know, learning from experiences such as Eisenhower, there'll be an opportunity to reflect on what's happening elsewhere and to bring that back in here and hopefully to influence positively the development of governance for Maritime Ireland, but also then the growth of the maritime economy, which is fundamentally what the IMERC partners in UCC, CIT and the Naval Service are focused on.